Hey everybody, Adam here with Hometown Acres. Welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by Simply Safe, so thanks to them, the rest of this video is going to be brought to you ad free. But if you couldn't tell by the title of this video, today is the big day. I think I announced sometime back in December that we were going to be adding a garage addition onto the side of our house. So we've been waiting four months for this day to come, and it's finally here. On the agenda for today is basic site prep, and I think all of our building materials, trusses, lumber, siding, all of that stuff is going to be getting delivered today. With that said, let's go ahead and get started.
So I mentioned earlier that today's video is sponsored by Simply Safe, which is an incredibly affordable and easy to install do-it-yourself home security and safety system. Home security is something that we take very seriously here. We're by no means celebrities, but we do have a pretty good following of about 90,000 subscribers here on YouTube, which is almost enough to fill Beaver Stadium. Go Penn State. And while the home security features are important to us, the home safety features are far more important to us. The way I look at it is this, the security features are there to protect you from the rainy day. You know, you don't have somebody trying to break into your house every single day. It's more once every five years, once every 10 years. And on that 10th year day, you're happy you have the system there. They protected you from burglars trying to break in. But the safety features protect you from the stuff that happens every single day. My wife and I, we have a two year old son and he right now he can't open doors, but that day is coming. And as you guys know, if you follow the channel, we just got done installing a half acre pond. And as morbid as this may sound, I really don't want to find out that my son learned how to open doors by finding him in the pond. And that's where Simply Safe comes in for us. They've got window and door sensors that alert the home base station anytime a window or door is open. They've got indoor security cameras, they've got outdoor security cameras. And while all of these things are designed with uh, burglar home protection in mind, in our situation, they're also gonna let us know the day that little Anderson learns how to open up doors and keep us from finding him in the pond. Now I know from looking at our YouTube analytics that about 70% of our audience is over the age of 45. So many of you may not be new parents like my wife and I are, but you may be grandparents helping out your kids babysitting one or two days a week. My parents watch Anderson all the time. So if you have children or grandchildren around your home and maybe you live on a busy street or you have other outdoor hazards, that you don't want them getting into unbeknownst to you. Simply Safe with those window and door monitors could be a literal lifesaver. Now we just installed our system and set up as a breeze. Everything runs off of batteries and you can either hard mount all of your sensors or everything comes with little stickies. You can literally just stick it right on the wall. There's no drilling holes in your walls. There's no running wire, none of that. Everything runs off of batteries. And from the research that I've done, the batteries seem to last for years. So you're not gonna be changing batteries all the time either. On top of that, they give you a wireless keypad to arm the system and they also have an online app so that you can arm the system from anywhere if you forgot to arm it before you left the house. It's just a really easy to use system that was clearly designed with the end user in mind. If you guys want to check it out, you can save 20% on your Simply Safe home security system when you sign up for an interactive monitoring plan and get your first month free. Check out the link below, simplysafe.com backslash hometown acres. All right, so all of our materials delivered, trusses, lumber, siding, uh, posts and beams. Right here you can see we scraped out the topsoil where the driveway is going to be expanded over so that we can approach right into the new garage. And for those of you keeping score, that was eight triaxle loads of fill. I tell you what, I am really bad at judging slope because I, I was in another situation where I did not realize that we had that much fall. You can see this bank here. We're going to have to figure out what we want to do either slope this and put some rock on it or put a retaining wall. But uh, in order to level this out so that it would be mowable, I mean, it, it's, it's literally just not even possible because this just continues to fall all the way down to the pond. But as we take a ride up here, you can see we've got another load of fill right there. This is 2RC, this stuff was about $360 a load. So we've got roughly $3,000 in fill before we even get started on building. But we still need to fill this in right now because water is just going to want to rush right down this little bit of a valley leading up to where the garage site's going to be. And we still probably need at least one more load of fill to finish out the driveway and get that pitched more level as you come up to the garage. But I think tomorrow is going to rain. They're not getting started quite yet. So the downspout from this garage, we had to go ahead and add a little bit of pipe to get all that water to drain to the other side so we're not flooding this pad that they just got done doing. But yeah, this 2RC stuff packs really well for a building site. The guy running the skid steer is doing a really good job of getting proper compaction, tracking it in with the skid steer every four to six inches. And uh, you might be asking yourself, you know, we've got a tractor, we've got the mini excavator now, why aren't we doing the site prep ourselves? And the reason is time. I mean, that guy was here for eight hours straight all day long. I still work a full-time job, so I couldn't be out here doing that. I just don't have the time to do that. Plus, uh, the builders, Koblenz Builders, I think they said their site prep fee is only $500 and they, they actually prefer to do it rather than, you know, knocking it off the price of the build because they've had a lot of people in the past say, oh yeah, we'll, we'll do site prep, we'll get it leveled up and then they get there and they end up having to redo it anyway. So 
uh, in the price of the building, it was only $500 to have them do the site prep. So to save me from having to take a vacation day from work and come out here, burn fuel in the, in the mini excavator and all that, just easier to have them do it. Here's a quick look at those perma columns I was telling you guys about back in December. The entire garage is gonna be a pole barn style garage and typically you take your six by sixes or four by sixes and sink those down four foot down into the ground. The problem is that even if you have pressure treated lumber, it's eventually still gonna rot over time, 50, 75 years, what have you. But these perma columns are supposed to take care of that because instead of having lumber in the ground, now you've got a, a six by six cement pier that's gonna be down in the ground and then you lag bolt above the surface uh, your lumber to that. You don't typically get wood to rot below the surface and you don't typically get wood to rot above the surface. It's just right at the surface level where you've got water and oxygen mixing all the time. Wood getting wet, wood drying. Wood getting wet, wood drying. That's where you get your rot. So this perma column design is supposed to take care of that. I thought I'd show you guys that real quick. This was a very inexpensive upgrade to make our building last a lot longer. I think maybe $1,500 or something to go with these perma columns instead of a true traditional pole barn style build. So yeah, there is the job site. We've got to go run a few more errands, pick up a few more doors and windows. We'll report back once we get the doors and windows unloaded. I heard someone yell. I said I didn't even have to yell this time. <laughs> That's your front door. This is the front door, yeah. That's what? A window. Back patio door. Okay. Going out to what you would call the front porch. <laughs> yeah, that whole front end rear end's got me confused. <laughs> It's actually not anywhere near as bad as that door was. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Better down a little bit for me. I don't think we could be any more prepared. We've got everything in here in the garage ready to go. And I'll tell you what, as much as I'm looking forward to getting the new garage up and done and being able to park the vehicles in there, I think I'm even more looking forward to getting all this extra stuff out of this garage to free this one back up. So we've got three windows for the new garage. This is gonna be the new front door to the house, which is gonna be the entrance to the mudroom. This is gonna be a sliding glass patio door that's gonna go out towards a back porch overlooking the pond. And then there's actually another door back behind there. I think you can see it through the plastic wrap there. That's gonna be the man door to the garage. And then this is gonna be a steel fireproof door because you need a fireproof barrier between a garage and your living quarters. And technically the new mud room is gonna be part of the living quarters. So that's gonna be uh, up to code there. Uh, we also have some electrical panels here for getting juice to the new garage. Under that big box there is going to be the cupola for the new garage. That's a 30 inch or 32 inch cupola, I believe, that's going to sit in the middle of the roof up on top. And yeah, just a bunch of other miscellaneous stuff, door handles, all that good stuff. We've got uh, some conduit sitting on the ground over here. Really looking forward to getting this project underway and getting some of this stuff back out of this garage. Anyway, I think that's going to about wrap this one up. I want to thank Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video. If you guys enjoyed this one, give me a big thumbs up, click that subscribe button. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.